This tech snip will show you how to deploy an Azure Kubernetes service, or AKS cluster, using the Azure CLI and Cloud Shell. Let's get started. We're going to use the Azure Cloud Shell as the command line for this video. From the Azure portal, let's click on the Cloud Shell icon in the top right. If you've not used the Cloud Shell before, you'll be presented with a simple dialog box to configure it. If you see this window, go ahead and accept the defaults and continue. Now let's open the Cloud Shell in a new tab. We're using the Cloud Shell because it already has the necessary tools to deploy an AKS cluster. If you'd like to use the command line on your own computer, you'll need to download the Azure CLI and Kubernetes command line utility, kubectl. Follow the links at the bottom of the screen to go through that process. Now we're going to set our active subscription. I've already created the TechSnip subscription for this demo. But before we can deploy a Kubernetes cluster, we'll need to make sure the appropriate providers have been registered in our subscription. AKS requires the following resource providers to be registered. Microsoft Container Service, Microsoft Compute, Microsoft Network, and Microsoft Storage. To register these, we need to run the AZ Provider Register command and the name of the provider. Let's go ahead and do that. We can verify the providers have been registered using AZ Provider List. Let's run this and show the output as a table. And you can see that our providers have been registered. Now we're ready to create a resource group for the AKS service to live in. We can use the AZ Group Create command to do that. We'll call this resource group TechSnips AKS and give it a location of East US. Now that the resource group is created, we can create the cluster using AZ AKS Create. We need to provide the resource group to create the cluster in, the name of the cluster, and the number of nodes to provision, which in this case is 1. We're also going to have the command generate SSH keys and set the Kubernetes version to 1.9.6. Lastly, we'll set the node size to standard B2S, which has 2 CPUs and 4 GB of RAM. This will also create a new app registration and service principle to provision the cluster. It may take between 10 and 30 minutes to deploy the cluster, so we'll wait for that to complete. Okay, it's been a while and our cluster has been deployed. Now to authenticate to the cluster and begin working with it, we need to get some credentials. We'll use the AZ AKS get credentials command for this. This will download credential and connection information for kubectl to use to connect to the cluster. We'll need to provide the resource group and cluster name as well. Now let's run kubectl get nodes to verify our connection to AKS. We can also run kubectl cluster info to retrieve more information about the cluster. Looks like our AKS cluster is healthy, so now we can deploy our application. We'll use the Azure Voting Sample app, which is available on GitHub. The deployment of this application is defined in a YAML file that contains all the information for Kubernetes to deploy the containers and expose them in Azure. Let's create a new directory to hold the YAML deployment file, which we'll download from GitHub. And we'll cd into this directory. Now we can use curl to download the YAML file. Now we're ready to apply this file and create our Kubernetes resources. We'll use kubectl create and give it the path to the file. Now we can run kubectl get pods to see our pods being created. We'll wait for this to complete. We can also run kubectl get service to see our services being created. The deployment is creating an Azure load balancer so we can reach the app from the internet. We'll wait for this to complete. Once the Azure load balancer is created, we'll see its IP show up here. We can also run kubectl get service with the W switch to watch for changes. 
Looks like our load balancer IP has been created. Now let's double check that our pods have finished creating. Looks like one of the pods is still creating. We'll wait for this to complete. Let's run kubectl get pods again to see if our pods have finished. Okay, looks like everything is complete. Now let's test the app by opening a new browser tab and navigating to this Azure Load Balancer IP address. And you can see that our app has been successfully deployed. And that is how you deploy an Azure Kubernetes service cluster using the Azure CLI and Cloud Shell.